YouTube, what is good? So this week we will first start with some explanation about storage, why we upgrade it. Then after that we will jump straight into using Gobo, so go in-betweens when using strobes in the studio. And to end this little vlog, we will end with a behind the scenes from a shoot we had with Nele and Marieke in a painterly kind of light up. So today we are unpacking an external hard drive. I had this on the shelf for about one year, two years, I don't know. But we're at that stage that the video files get pretty big. So yeah, just uh, it's time, six terabytes more. So I will transfer all the video files into this new hard drive. So I got some new storage again. So that's one of the things that most of the time a major issue is storage when recording with when we record with this one, the big one, the Fuji, that records in um, 4K, which means the file size gets pretty big, like two minutes is just already 3 GB. So it gets big really quick. So yeah, gonna plug this one in and then uh, we'll see how it rolls. Behind me, you can see we're playing around with strobes. Like, you can see my camera over there. You can see the strobe over there. And on the strobe, we got a snoot without grid at the moment. So let's see. So this is the Alink Room snoot without grid in front of it. And then that's the camera. I'm gonna shoot header straight into the screen. And then the goal for today is to play around with Gobo. So go in between it's called. So I'm gonna play around with styrofoam and see if I can actually make some patterns on the wall. So that's the idea and uh, yeah, let's see what we can come up with. You've just seen a little segment of me using different items to create some sort of projection on the wall. So I've just tested it out first without a model because I don't want to waste any time of the model when shooting uh, and trying things out. So first I tried with a plant, a normal plant. And before that I started with just using a piece of styrofoam and putting little holes in it. 
then I hold them in front of the snoot and just see what reflections we've got. Now you've seen some of the results. You can play around with color gels which create a little bit more depth in the image and in the projection and just like instead of regular white light. Now keep in mind the distances from the gobo and the strobe depends on the effect you want to create. Now the further you go away the more power you will need to actually see the reflection or the projection from the item. Now, depending also from the distance, the further you go away or the closer you get, the projection might get stronger, so more defined on the edges, or will stay soft depending on the distance. Now, the closer you go to the subject, the stronger the reflections will be. The further you go away, the bigger the shadows reflections will be, and the le less crispy. So just play around with it, it's hard to give some exact numbers. I've played around with a wooden cube, a plant, styrofoam, just try normal household things which you can see which might be cool if you just put light through it. So that's that little segment. Now this week when I'm recording this on Friday I will have a shoot where I will be playing around with a model and some reflections. So the goal is to have the reflections behind her, the projections or on her. Not sure what it will give, how we will create something creative, but I'll keep you guys and girls updated. So let's go to the next segment. You've just seen the behind the scenes footage from the shoot we had with Nele. The goal was to create some painterly images with soft light, feathered light. We've used a wooden chair to put the model on and then on top of that you've seen the light setup. So for this light setup we used two lights and V-flats. So we used a deep octa and on top of that we used another umbrella, deep umbrella with diffusion to soften the light. Now how it's just precisely set, it depends on the creative mood you want to go for. We wanted to go for that painterly look where it's really smooth, really soft. So we've used the deep octa diffused in front, behind a diffusion panel and then on the model, going in front of the model, we used the deep umbrella with diffusion panel. And that's how it's all done. So we kept the same lighting through the entire shoot. We did some fashion shots and the backdrop you've seen is one I've created myself. So probably that will be on sale in the future somewhere. Uh, if you guys and girls are interested, just let me know about custom made backdrops. I can create some if you want for you. Um, so yeah, that's the whole thing about this week's vlog. Hope you had something from it. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe button and then I'll see you when I see you. Ciao, ciao.